I'm going to go up to office.com. And office.com, of course, is the portal to get to the Office 365 uh, apps. So I'll type in office.com. And then when you do this, sometimes it asks you to log on and you would use your Microsoft account, which is probably your email address and your password. But usually, if you've been there before, it just lets you right in, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna come over here and click on the dots on the left, and that'll show you all of the apps that are available in Office 365. And then once we do that, I'm gonna click on one that's called Forms. This is gonna be a great way to make a questionnaire or a survey, and then you're gonna see we can share this online so people can fill it out. So I'm gonna make a new form. Let's say you have a car wash business and you want people to fill in um, you know, a survey after they got done with their car wash. So for the uh, title, I'll call it car wash survey. And then we can add a description to it as well. Now the form can have as many questions as you want. The, the questions can be multiple choice, uh, text, which is fill in the blank, a rating, a date, and there's other ones over here, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. So first of all, I'm gonna make the first question a multiple choice. And I'll say, were you happy with the, with the service. Now notice that there's built in questions right here. So I'll say add all for yes, no, and maybe. And that fill those in. If I want additional options, I can say add an option there, but that'll be fine. So I'm gonna add some more questions. Add new. I'm going to say, this will be a date this time. What date did you bring your car in for a wash? And then there's the date is there they can type it in or, you know, they'll be able to fill it in with a calendar. Uh, so then uh, I'm going to add another question. In this case, I'll say, um, make it multiple choice. What service did you get? Now, in this case, I'll do different options. So I'll say um, basic wash, um, basic plus tires, and then premium. All right, so I'm just building this questionnaire. I'll pick on add again for a new question. This time I'll say, what was your favorite part about the service? Actually, this is gonna be, let me, let me delete this question over here. So you have a lot of flexibility. Uh, I wanna make this one actually uh, a text question. So I'll say, what was your favorite part of the service and then they can fill it in they can type in whatever they want and I'll make it this one a long answer in case they, they have to um, type in a lot and then notice how we can also make it uh, required I'm going to add another question here this will be also a text what was your least favorite 
part of the service. I'm also going to make that one a long answer and those here I can make it required. And then there's other settings there as well. So in this case, let's say we'll, we'll make it a reading. How would you rate the overall service? And they can pick uh, notice how right now I have 1 to 5, or maybe we can make it 1 to 10. Right there. And we can make it stars or, you know, those kind of things. Uh, so the stars will be fine. And I'll say multiple choice. Would you, uh, we'll say, are you a member of the Frequent Buyers Club? And this will say uh, just yes or no, yes and no. And then I'll add another question, multiple choice. Would you be interested in the frequent buyers club? Here I'll say yes, no, or maybe, so I'll add all. So the form can have as many questions as you want, as you can say. Here I have a multiple choice, pick a date, another multiple choice, fill in the blank with the text, rating, another multiple choice, and so on. So, you know, your form can have as many questions as you want it. Now notice how it's saved automatically. So here comes a really important uh, setting, everybody. I'm gonna come over here and click on the three dots to the right and then I will pick on the settings. I want anyone to be able to respond. So that way you can share the link all over the internet. You can share it on your multimedia, uh, your social media and so on. So I, usually I want anyone to respond unless you want to limit to the people in your organization or even specific people. And uh, I'm gonna accept responses. I could even do a thank you message and I'll say, Thank you for your response. Your business is appreciated. Okay, good. So you can see it automatically saved that now what I did there is I picked on the three dots and I picked on the word settings. Notice how you can also make it multilingual for different, different languages. In this case, I'm going to pick on collect responses. So you can copy this website, this website name and put it all over your social media, all over um, your, um, the internet. You can email that link to people. Now, it is a pretty long website name, so here you can shorten it if you wanted to. You can also put it in, uh, send it by Outlook or send it through Teams. Down here, you can generate a QR code and maybe put that on your website or your business card. You can also embed it. Uh, this will allow to uh, embed it easier into uh, different websites. So you can share it in multiple ways. In this case, I'm gonna pick up the word copy now let's see what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go up to a different window on the uh, browser and I'll paste it in. You can see it is a pretty long website name. So I want to be able to shorten that, you know, from that other window if necessary. And then here's the form. So, you know, let's see what happens. Uh, I can say, were you happy with the service? I'll say yes. What's the date 
of, uh, of your car wash. So I can click there, type in the date, or of course I can pick it from the calendar. So the calendar comes up, let's say it was today's date. What service did you get? Uh, so maybe the basic plus the tires. What was your favorite part of the service? Um, the ease of it and the quality. Uh, the line was a little long, but no big deal. Right, so there were, those were text answers. How would you rate the overall service? Let's say nine out of 10. Are you a member of the Frequent uh, fires, uh, Buyers Club? I'll say yes. And then I'll say yes here. So at the bottom, you'll have the word submit. So that's what the user's experience would be in filling out that form. So you can see making the form was not difficult, everybody. Now here's that, that response that we made, as you can see. Now I'm going to close this window and let's go back to the actual form, which is here. Now notice how there is one response. So when you go to Microsoft Forms and open up that form, the responses will be tracked here. However, I really want this to be in an Excel spreadsheet. So notice how it does say open in Excel here. And then there's other choices for those as well. I can delete the responses and so on. So I'm going to say open in Excel. Notice how it downloaded that into my, uh, onto my computer. I'm going to click on this uh, download. And now it's going to open it up in Excel. Let's see what it looks like. Notice how it made a formatted table and you can see the column headers up at the top. So you could accumulate the responses within the form and then just keep on downloading the Excel spreadsheet 